We have a lot to get to today in weather as well. So let's get started and take a look at Cayucas earlier today. The clear skies, the offshore flow, the very dry air produce warm daytime highs, but it's going to get very cold at night, colder than the last few nights. Right now, temperatures are hovering in the 60s across the area. Lompoc 69, 65 in Santa Barbara. The winds right now, they are meandering in terms of direction and not particularly strong. They're going to start pushing offshore. It will not locally be a big push like we saw last night. Some localized gusts to say 20 miles per hour, but the general push will be about 10 to 15, maybe up to 20. I don't see local big gusts. No advisories locally for the winds or for the fire weather, but there is for cold. We'll talk about that. 75 Napomo today was 77 Santanez, 76 Cal Poly, 71 Goleta, and 80, 80 degrees in Morro Bay, driven by those offshore winds. Paso 33 overnight scattered frost. I've seen the pictures on Facebook and Twitter, and I appreciate the uh, those of you sending those along. So here's what's going on. Intense Southern California winds. What we've seen, it's going to strengthen tonight. And again, some of those wind gusts are going to be very, very strong. Here's the good news. By late tomorrow, they start relaxing. And by Saturday, they're actually fairly light. So that's some good news. But let's take a look at some of the advisories, things you need to be aware of tonight. That freeze watch is now a freeze warning. So we're looking at temperatures 29 to 32 degrees for several hours. It can damage plants and you need to attend those pets that are outside. So the advisory is Thursday night into Sunday morning, but I have a seven day forecast that says we need to think about it each morning for the next seven days. That's a long run of cold overnight lows. And again, across Southern California, where we have an active fire burning in Ventura County. That is actually the area that we'll see some of the worst winds tonight. You can see my forecast here, 40 to 50 with some gusts at 60 and 70 miles per hour. This is that seven day forecast for Paso Robles overnight lows. You can see all of them will be at freezing or slightly below that. The average low being 40 degrees. Here's the modeling for that corridor here again, where we have an active fire. Look at the winds through the middle of the overnight. We will see sustained winds of 20 and 30 miles per hour with gusts even higher than that. So with an active fire in place and then losing the daytime light now, this is going to be a challenging overnight. But again, the good news is later tomorrow it abates locally just a few breezes here and there, but we are just on the edge of this event. And in Northern California, there's a huge fire. You can see that smoke plume has already made it into the bay. We will see some haze from the campfire smoke starting to get into our area tomorrow. Hour by hour forecasts look like this. Again, really cold to start in Paso Robles and warming up to nearly 80 degrees. We can't cover a lot of these right now because we are limited on time. But again, the KSBY app has all the watches, warnings, advisories, hourly and 10 day forecasts all available for you. And on my social media covering a lot of that. And when I think the next chance of rain will be, it's later this month around a holiday. OK, you know what holiday it is. Look at temperatures right around 80 degrees tomorrow for much of the area. But again, to note the overnight lows mid to upper 30s in the Santa Inez Valley, so no freeze warning there. But Shandon, California Valley, Paso, Templeton, all of these places, it is going to get chilly and the temperatures will start dropping soon. Extended forecast, not a lot of twists and turns here. We're locked into a pattern five and seven day warm and dry with cool overnight lows.